And welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Providing media workshops, art exhibits, and theater performances, MACLA welcomes people of all backgrounds. Angie Halstrup Alvarez and Joey Reyes from MACLA, they're joining me now. And first off, Angie, go to it. What is MACLA? So MACLA is an acronym for our name in Spanish, which is Movimiento de Arte y Cultura Latinoamericana, roughly translated to Movement of Latin American Art and Culture. Okay, I'm glad you got that out there. So <laughs> instead of saying MACLA, I can just say MACLA? You can say MACLA. I like the way that sounds, MACLA. <laughs> Joey, tell me about the programs at MACLA. So in our programs, we have visual literary performance, and we also have our youth programming. And what we have been really focused on is integrating participatory aspects. Our program is contemporary. It is Latino-specific. So you're based in the San Jose area, and you welcome the public to come to your doors, and you teach them what? So if you're going to come to MACLA, um, you know, going back to stressing again, participatory engagement um, in all our programming, and it's interwoven through everything that we do. So if you come to MACLA, we're gonna have a performance, maybe a, 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 a performance group that's doing dance, and you're gonna participate in, in the act of learning a dance movement. Maybe that's bomba, Ooh. and then you're also gonna learn about the history of the root of the dance in addition to you know, being, being out in the audience and dancing with those performers. That's one on my bucket list for 2015. I want to learn how to salsa dance. Well, come to Makla. <laughs> Gotta learn how to move the hips a little bit here. <laughs> so, Angie, tell me about the artists. So, we work with artists from local Bay Area, San Jose, San Francisco, broader range, to internationally known. Um, we're actually working with an artist right now, Teddy Cruz, who's based in the San Diego, Tijuana area, originally from Guatemala, and who really has an international reputation. I think we have have a couple of pictures. Maybe you can describe what's going right. on with these photographs that we have provided for our fine right. audience at home. Oh, people are waving. Hi. I know. So this is our youth program. It's our DMC studio, Digital Media and Culture Studio. It's a free after-school program for teens aged 13 to 18. They come in, they learn how to make music, how to record video, um, spoken word, they do dance. And it's great because we pair them with media mentors that have cultural competency that teach them the 21st century skills but also really how to have a platform for their voice. So we look to them to define the issues and the conversations, and then they work to learn the technology and the skills. So, Joe, you're helping them as far as learning the skills, but I imagine also you're keeping a lot of these kids off the streets as well. Yeah, the, the immediate community where we're surrounded by is called the William Reed Corridor. Okay. And, you know, by bringing these kids in, there's a, there's a, there's a commitment. There's a commitment not only to be there for the studio time, um, and the mentors also are extremely committed to that youth, but there is time when they can come in offside of the instruction hours and they can continue to develop that skill beyond just the, you know, the time that we have centered for them to come in and learn. So Angie and Joey, I imagine once they come in and they learn your programs, they walk out with a bit of confidence? Oh, tons of confidence, increased self-esteem. And then also too, now that the program's been up several years and running, we actually had one of our first students, uh, Vanessa, get a $60,000 scholarship <gasps> to go to college. So she's the first in her family to graduate high school and to go to college. And she did that based upon the video portfolio she made at MACLA with our media mentors. And so it just shows you what a difference having a great team of very concerned, caring, and technically knowledgeable staff, um, how we make a difference in the, the lives of our youth and the future. And Joey, we're talking about the participants, mm -hmm. and we're talking mainly about the ones who walk through the doors and, and are able to take advantage of these wonderful programs you have. But what about the mentors? Are you looking for more mentors to come in and nurture these, these young teens? We're always looking for mentors. We're always looking for someone who is a, who is a fit with the organization. Um, and we're always looking for people who have a very similar experience to our youth. And I, I think that's very key to be very, uh, you know, empathetic and to understand the concerns that these youth live with every day within our communities. So, Angie, do we have any kind of dancing coming up or any exhibits with your artists? What's right. Up? So, first Friday, every first Friday of the month, you can come down to Makla, and that's where you see in our black box theater space. You can learn a dance. You can see a performance. You can learn about the history and do that. And then also every May is our annual Latino art auction, which is a fundraiser for the organization, but it really shows the very best of contemporary 
Latino art from the Bay Area and beyond. That's amazing. So again, when we want to see one of your performances, this is generally after school hours. So are we talking about like early evening or? Yes. Yeah, so all of our public performances are in the evenings, typically on weekends, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But then our youth program is every day after school, Monday through Friday, and then in the summers during the afternoons. See, I wish things like this were around when I was growing up. It kept me out of trouble. But, you know, <laughs> good job. So proud of you guys. I have to come down and see you at Makla. Yes, come like visit to, us. I would love to do that. I'd be excited to show you around. Oh, and teach me a dance or two, right? <laughs> exactly. Teach you a dance. Happy right. to do that. Well, I'm on my way to San Jose. How about you? If you want to know more about Makla's programs, all you have to do is log on to Makla. That's M A C L A, then art. So let me let me just spell it all out for you. M A C L A. A R T E dot org. See, it's Makla Art. M A C L A A R T E dot org. That's it. All right, well, that's it for this week's edition of Bay Area Focus. I'm sure Michelle Grego will be back next week. Have a terrific weekend, everyone. Bye.